Hey everybody, Chris here. In this video, we're going to be talking about Dogecoin to 10 cents. What that may take. Please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. You can be notified when my new videos come out, as well as when I do live streams. We were live uh, yesterday. We were talking about how Dogecoin has certain levels of support uh, and, uh, and how those levels of support could actually go up. And as we, as I was live, we were targeting, looking at sort of a low point in Dogecoin's trading that we had on Sunday here at uh, hitting down at about 6.1 cents at its lowest. And this is also, may I say, where did buy some more Dogecoin. Yes, continuing to buy for the Crispax DCA portfolio. If you don't know what that is, you can join us again live next on Wednesday at 5 o'clock Eastern Time in the United States. That's Boston time where I am. Uh, we'll be live again and we'll be talking more about our portfolio and continuing to DCA into it. But instead of waiting till Monday, on Sunday, I was just looking at the trading, watching how Doge was trading and saw this dip down, uh, somewhat of recovery and then dip again. And that's where I snagged more Dogecoin as well as topping off a lot of the other cryptos in the portfolio as well. But at that time, I was looking at that looks like a higher low from the six cents that we had before. And what I was talking about yesterday on the live stream was I could envision that we would see a succession of higher lows because we were experiencing that uh, on, on Monday right before the live stream. And I was like, well, what I would envision what I would see going forward is probably a path where you would see Doge come up and then come down to a level that would even be another higher low and would continue to establish higher lows. And this is what I sketched uh, during that live stream. And we actually hit exactly where I was here earlier today, earlier this morning, exactly where I thought we would be, although we didn't quite have as big of a dip. Uh, for a new low and we could still see that going forward. But as of right now, we have seen good trading for Dogecoin came up over 6.32 cents earlier this afternoon uh, before trading down a little bit. Not too uh, uh, different than how Bitcoin has been trading uh, with some of this up and down action. So Doge is generally following the rest of the crypto market in this in this trading. So that's where Doge is now. But what could we see for Doge going forward? I go to the daily and we're look we're targeting this 10 cent line up here. And this is where we last saw 10 cents uh, was back in April. And could Doge trade up to that same 10 cent level? And I believe that can happen. Let's go to the news, though, and let's check out what others are saying as well. Dogecoin's next hurdle, trader anticipates a 10 cent milestone. So this was back in July, and this is where we had Kaleo saying Doge to a dime sooner than you think. Well, not quite so fast, but Kaleo was actually looking at this 10 cent mark, and that is a good target to look at. Dogecoin price prediction, and this is as of today, this article is uh, is printed. Are Doge bulls ready to shape the trend to 10 cents? So Dogecoin price defies regulatory news. And this is what we covered uh, yesterday also in the live stream was New York sort of delisting tokens, just meaning any exchanges or anything else that wants to trade these needs to apply directly to the state of New York's digital services thing in order to get approval on a token by token, coin by coin basis, which isn't really good. Uh, XRP was on that list, which doesn't make any sense at all since a judge has just ruled it wasn't a security, but New York is gonna do what New York does overall. I don't think that really impacts uh, overall trading, but Dogecoin price taken down resistance at 6.2, and we saw that on the chart, turning it into an immediate support and a springboard for potential gains up to 10 cents. Bulls seem intentional with a push for recovery, especially with Doge now sitting above two key moving averages, 50-day exponential, 
and the 100-day exponential is at 6.4. So once we can get above that 100-day EMA at 6.4 and get to 6.5 cents, the outlook looks good. Can Dogecoin price sustain this uptrend? We've talked before about how September has been called Rectember before because in Bitcoin's uh, history, there have been many red months of September, but so far this year, 2023, Bitcoin and the crypto uh, market is all in the green right now because we had a really bad August. August was pretty tough. We continued to dollar cost average and buy in to our portfolio uh, throughout August. And now into September, we're seeing an uptrend coming up. So if traders gain interest and seek exposure to long positions in Doge, the uptrend could be unstoppable. A buy signal from the moving average convergence divergence, that's the MACD, reveals that recovery may continue, especially if bulls hold onto the range support at 6.2. So we'll be watching that 6.2 cent mark as support and see whether Dogecoin can continue to stay above that. So we continue. Dogecoin, this is from Investor's Observer, receives a bullish rating Tuesday. Is it time to get on board? So this is their little slider, and it had been in the red earlier in June. It would have been in the yellow uh, just as recently as last week, and now it's pushing into the green here. So it's looking bullish. It's amazing. You start seeing these articles talking about kind of a, a better feeling about the crypto markets and particularly here about Dogecoin. That sounds good. Can Dogecoin price break its downtrend? So you know, there has been a downtrend that happened throughout August and we saw that, but things do tend to be turning around. So um, there is a risk of a further breakdown that could happen that would be back at this 5.9 cent mark. So will Dogecoin, and I think this would be more based on what Bitcoin does, like if Bitcoin does a big drop and goes down like to 25K or even lower, we could see Dogecoin retest into the fives. I think as I, as I showed a number of times, there's such strong buying support at 5.95 cents that I just think there's so many limit orders that are set there that it would be really hard to break any lower than that. So that is good for Dogecoin. Dogecoin price prediction demand pressure at six cents, hence bullish upswing ahead. So here's another article printed today. They see the same line of support, big strong line, although I think there's smaller lines of support that are going up 6.1 and now maybe 6.2 cents as support, which means the uptrend is continuing. And here we have uh, Dogecoin sees modest 24-hour price gain, nears crucial resistance. It's like, okay, where are those resistance levels going to be? We already broke 6.3, 6.4 could be the next, or 6.5 cents. Uh, that 6.5 cent mark was pretty strong in the past, and we could see revisiting this blue line here. This is on the daily, and this is that six and a half cent line here. So if Dogecoin trades up and starts hitting that as resistance, I think that's okay because it does create back into the sideways trading that we had earlier. And once we get above 6.5, then that turns around and becomes support so that Doge could then trade back up into the sevens and eventually 10 cent target. So that's what we're talking about. As, as the trading goes on. We will continue to cover this both on the live streams and future videos. Please be sure to join the channel. Join the channel as a member. Not only do you get these fun, cool emojis to use in the live stream, but you also are eligible for the Dogecoin. I'm going to pay out when we eventually sell the Chris Pax DCA portfolio and I share the profits with you. But you have to join the Chris Pax YouTube channel in order to do that. We'll cover that more on live streams. Please be sure to tune in as well on Wednesday at 5. And then we do late night Fridays at 10 o'clock. So please be sure to check that out. 
Please give the video a like as well. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't done that. I always appreciate the support. We'll see you next time.